Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's session, I will show you what is the difference between our touch command and cat command in Linux. Okay, so let me get into the uh, Linux mission. Okay. Okay, um, so um, um, you know, right uh, in Windows mission, uh, we create a, a notepad or we create a folder okay so uh, we do this uh, using a GUI method like you we can use your mouse pointer and then you can do it and in the same way we can also do it through a uh, command prompt on Windows okay so like same way um, in Linux uh, what they do was using the touch command uh, T O U C H you can create a file okay if you uh, type touch and then if you put any name that file will be created and it will be a file okay in order to create a folder you just put a command mkdir and then you will put a, a folder name okay so let me show you for an example let me print my uh, working directory so it is under home admin let me go to the home directory okay so now let me list out what are the files available here okay now uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, some files and folders here okay and one major uh, thing I just want to uh, tell you that if you see any file name see this is a folder so how can I how can I tell you that it is a folder or a file so if you see um, the uh, line here it says a D if it starts with D then it is a directory okay and if you see a file or a folder which is which says hyphen then it is a file so this is a file and this run is a folder so how do I say it using the um, alphabet here D and hyphen so if hyphen means file D means directory okay so let me show you one thing how to create a, a file so I will type touch and then for an example let's say that uh, you need to create an um, a file or a text file okay let's say Azure okay so it says um, permission denied okay one moment yeah so um, if you want to create any file under the home directory you should be a root user okay so uh, only root user can create a file or folder under the home directory so no other user is uh, allowed to create a file or folder under this uh, directory so I will switch over to the um, home directory of the current user so my the current user is um, admin user so how do you get it by uh, typing ID you can get uh, who is the uh, user okay or else you can uh, type a command who am I so you it will say that uh, admin user is the current user so now let me go to my home directory CD home admin user sorry CD ohm admin user okay so let me print the current directory okay so now I just type touch Azure okay a file is created how do I check it ls l so a file is created and this is a file or folder how do you get it by seeing the alphabet here okay this is a file and there is an another command cat okay so using cat just type tat greater than symbol and I put AWS okay so if you enter this command also uh, create a file but when you run it it will ask you what information you want to uh, input into the AWS file let's say that hello okay so now using touch command we have created a file Azure using cat command also we created a file AWS so let me show you ls l and you see it AWS is a file Azure is a file so using the cat and touch method we have created so both are very similar 
but touch command will not allow you to input any object okay but cat command when you create the file it will immediately ask you to input any um, object I mean uh, in, input any information into the file okay so um, if you want to um, do it in real time moreover in real time they will be using a VI editor okay so let's say for an example if I want to uh, look what is inside the um, AWS file okay I just put VI AWS then you can see what is the information inside the AWS file okay insert if you, you you can use the high command to edit it if you put escape it will come out and then you can quit it Okay, so this is the main difference between the touch command and cat command. Both are very similar. It is also used to create a file. It is also used to create a file. All right. That's it. Um, thank you for watching the channel, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.